Hey everybody, what's up? Laron here, and welcome back to another Wuthering Waves Resonator Showcase. I almost said Resonator Showcase first. I was like, wait, what word am I looking for here? Anyways, today we're checking out the Shorekeeper. I am so excited. I have been waiting since they first showed her picture of the um, the drip marketing. I was like, bro, immediately. Like, being a Gula lover from Genshin, like, she fit the bill. Tall, blue hair, super pretty. She has a veil kind of like um, Black Swan a little bit as well. So I was just like, oh man, how could I How could I not try? Also, healer, hell yeah. Farina needs a break. <laughs> let's be real. So let's see what they have for us. So excited. I'm pulling for her right after I finish recording this. Life. Life is the dim light that flickers in the chaos. The Ooh. faint heartbeat that echoes in the silence. A beautiful accident and a deliberate creation in the galaxies. It's a pretty butterfly. Oh, dude, her eyes are gorgeous. Yet, can an entity of energy be called life? Is she Perhaps not really? The answer is hidden within. Is she not really a person? Breezes oh. ferry me to the wild. Is she telling us to go touch grass? Time flows over me without a trace, like raindrops lost in the lake. Oh, her voice is beautiful. But unlike me, well, where the hell is this? Boundless possibilities. What city was that? So I close my eyes and try to be one of them. I feel disasters sweeping through relentlessly. Uh oh. Here it comes. Civilizations collapsing like fragile sand castles. Oh, was that the before? Their loss. Agony. Decay and decline. Oh, she was like I feel breathing. it all. What am I? An observer of this world, a seeker of its origin, or a witness to life. Am I she's an outsider? Like, she sounds like she's breaking. When the wuthering waves subside, we need a haven to restore civilization. Oh, that's, that's so cool. So male rover or female rover in each year. That's so cool. I love her names. So pretty. I exist because of you. We manifested a waifu? Through silence. Civilization will endure on this shore. And this shore is a testament to my existence. Ooh. That transition though, bro, she is absolutely stunning, man. Also, this is a piano player. Everybody's going ape shit right now. This is a killer song. She's controlling. That's so cool. Dude, that piano player is going hard. Holy shit. That's not it, right? Okay. Shorekeeper. Ah, dude, she is... Oh, it just went... Dude, she is absolutely stunning, man. I just want that last little bit of her right there. Why does it do this? Yes, right there, bro. 
Oh, nope. No, come back. <laughs> I'm fucking up everything. Stop it. There we go. Alright. Yeah, dude, she is just... Oh, God. Like I said, the second I saw her, I was immediately like, okay, yep. 100%. I know exactly where everything is going towards. And then, of course, immediately after I started saving up for her, immediately they announced Camellia right afterwards. I was like, oh, you fuckers. <laughs> I don't know if she's going to be because i've already seen people talking about this version apparently Gion's getting a rerun they did not say anything about that on the live stream by the way so i was like wait what so no new characters so that must mean that camellia is in the next version so hopefully things go well when i pull for her and i can try and go for camellia in the next version um and save up for that also saving for scar if he's ever going to be playable playable because i just adore that man as well but dude she is oh god I said, it's just like, I'm just like flabbergasted when I look at her. She's just so absolutely gorgeous. And I cannot wait to have her at my parties and see how amazing she is. I actually have um, a few Echoes I wanted to try out because I had someone for Ina and I actually started building Baiji, but then I realized I was like, oh, well, I'll just have her. So no big deal. Um, so I'm gonna try those out on her because I heard that she's like HP based. So a lot of ER, a lot of HP. And I've seen people say that you can get away with this four star weapon. Or like firmament i can't remember what it's called off the top of my head i'd have to look at it again but i don't think i have it so i'm just gonna go for her weapon i mean it's guaranteed so why not um it helps a lot i think it gives like 60 er or something like that so that'll be helpful i mean between that and then two er three cost echoes that alone should be like 100 some so that'll help be helpful to get towards something i can't remember what the goal is i'll have to look at her kit again to understand a little better um but like I said, she is just so stunning and I cannot wait to have her. I want to wish all of you the best of luck. Hopefully you guys have amazing luck if you're going to pull for her, if you haven't already pulled for her. Um, as always, feel free to share if you have. Um, but hopefully she comes home early. And if you are going for the weapon like I am, hopefully you can get that early as well. And then save her whoever it is you may be going for in the future. Because I'm assuming if Gian got to be run, then maybe Yidlin might be next. Unless they don't go in order, I don't know. Um, but... Yes, may the gotcha gods bless all of us on our pools for weathering waves. Um, but let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about Shorekeeper. Are you guys excited for a new healer? Because I know it probably might be a while till we get another one. Um, but let me know your thoughts about her below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you here. If you want to check out any of the other stuff I post, you can check the links in the description. Or if you go to the playlist page, there's all kinds of stuff for you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Hope you have an amazing day. Be sure to take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys in the next video.